Yo, my last meal is my favorite order from the Chinese restaurant. We got some sesame chicken. This is my favorite order. So I'm ending it off with that. I went on a binge eating thing for like the last two days, which I know the doctor told me I'm not supposed to do. I'm supposed to be eating lean proteins, protein shakes, stuff like that. But I really wanted to get in the last good meals because my boyfriend also got the surgery. And my cousin, my little cousin also got the surgery and she told me and he told me. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna get my last meals in. So even if I'm suffering later, I'm gonna be like, yo, at least I got to go out with a bang. I'm gonna tie back in with y'all later. I'm, I'm excited. New lifestyle, new life, new me. I'm in the airport, I'm like a whole entire like hour and a half early before departure. So I'm just gonna update you guys once we touch down onto the plane. This is gonna be like a really long day. We are on the flight guys. We have a long way to go still. I'm so tired. I did not go to sleep yet. So. What's up y'all? Good morning guys. We just touched down. We in San Diego now and whatnot. I'm like really nervous because like i'm so close to the surgery time right now and i don't even know like it's, it's, it's how i'm gonna time. feel like it's game time i'm waiting we got we got literally like six months to see the transformation because i know it takes about like six months or so for you to really start seeing good good results i'm nervous but we here there's no I'm going back for now me. you excited for me i'm super excited for me i just hope that you stay calm patient and you know it's a good thing that they took my it's a good thing that they took my money first because if they wouldn't have took my money, I would have probably backed out last minute, I promise. Because last night I was really thinking about it. I'm like, do I really want to do this? But like I told him it's better for his health and it's also better for his mental his mental health. This is literally like a crazy moment right now. Like it's really I'm I'm not about to have a fucking stomach. Like my, my stomach, stomach is gonna be fucking back. My stomach is about to be gone in less than 24 hours. I'm like, I don't even know what the hell, like, I don't, I, I'm nervous. Now I'm getting nervous because it's getting close. Like the guy is literally picking us up to bring us to the facility now. And I'm just sitting here with like, the, I'm not about to have a stomach face. <laughs> it was a bad bitch. I'm starving right now, but am I gonna like feel like I'm starving once they fucking cut my stomach out? Like they're taking out 90% of it, right? You're not, you're not gonna, when you wake up, you're not gonna feel hungry. I'm not gonna feel hungry? Because you're gonna be on the IV and stuff. Did you feel like you wanted water and stuff though? No, I didn't want anything, but they forced you to drink it. They so forced you, you to? Hydrate. But also, so you're gonna be hydrated automatically because the IV. The IV. So All what right. you are gonna do is you go, are gonna, you're gonna pee a lot. I'm gonna pee a lot? All right. But yeah, so. For me, I pee. I'm nervous because like, they're really about to cut my stomach out. like. I just hope that like I, I recover fast, you know, because I really don't do well being in pain. You're but gonna spend it again. They're gonna be fine. I hope I'm gonna be fine. But we're gonna tap right back in. We we'll see you guys in a few. We're in the van. He actually they come like really quickly. Like it's another told him like I was here. He like like that, no. But we're on our way to the place. We just picked up like one other one other group, I guess. And we're we're out now. About how long would you say is the drive from the airport to the facility? Uh huh. 18? 20 minutes. 20 minutes? That fast? 20 minutes for the border. And you go for obesity is my when cross the border like six six or seven minutes okay wow so like 26 minutes in total to get there yeah yeah 30 minutes 30 minutes okay this is the border none of that actually matter Thank you. So he was pointed out as being that customer demanding his damn sandwich. Shut up and make one more sandwich. All right. Yeah. So we just got to the hospital. Next. 
So we just got here and basically there's a couple of people here so we're not sure how long the waiting process is gonna be and everything like that, but we're here, we're waiting, we're gonna see, you know, what the next step is. So far I've signed through, like you know a couple of documents just like some of the documents that I actually already signed through email, but I re-signed like some stuff. I guess they probably need a physical signature. And um, I got weighed and I got my height. And he's short. <laughs> and I'm short. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about that though, but I'm gonna update you guys as soon as we get like the next steps or whatever like that. So when somebody else comes on and we do anything else, I'm just waiting now at this point. We don't know how long we're gonna be waiting, but we'll let you guys know. I'm about to do an X right now. I've been here like all morning doing a couple of different things, running the test and everything. I got the PC just coming real soon. I'm excited. I think the nervousness part is wearing off. The boy about to be flacco. <laughs> so this is my little room. I guess this is my little card. That's my doctor. It's my name. This is the surgery that I'm getting. And this is the room tour. Mm. So we got two twin size hospital beds. If you're coming with a companion, you have two TVs, one in front of each bed. So you have one in front of this bed and one in front of that bed so that you guys can watch two separate things. I'm pretty sure me and him are gonna watch the same thing though. If I'm not playing the game or if I can even play the game, I don't know how I'm gonna feel. Like, I'm probably not gonna even wanna do nothing but sleep, right babe? Yeah, so another thing that we didn't tell you guys before is that X got the surgery too. So low key, X is coaching me and he's a big influence in the re and a big part of the reason why I'm getting it because like I'm seeing the results with him and everything like that. It's been a month. You guys could probably already tell if you look. <laughs> he dropped like 40 pounds already. 42. 42? Yeah. He dropped 42 pounds already. So now I guess this is about to be me nuts. So he's here. He, he has recent experience with it. It's only been like what, a month? A month and a half. So he like still everything, all the feelings and everything is fresh for him. But let me get back to the room tour. So we have the two TVs, like I said, it's a little chair right there in between that we probably only gonna use for our luggage. If we don't push the beds together, cause it's my husband, <laughs> they playing in my face. So this is the bathroom, it's really small. I'm gonna turn it on cause I'm gonna turn off, I'm gonna put on the music cause it's loud. It's cute. Yeah, it's cute, small. Open concept, about four. I'm not gonna fall because this is like really sturdy. But yeah, guys, that is the room tour for my surgery 2021. I'm really excited. The time is getting closer. The doctor's gonna meet with me really soon. I'm just gonna unpack and get comfortable real quick because we are gonna be here for two nights. All right, guys, I really had to like take a shower really quickly because I wasn't about to go into a surgery after an eight hour flight without taking a shower, not knowing when my body is physically gonna be able to like, you know, withstand being in the shower again. Like, cause I know once I get the stitches and stuff, it's gonna be complications and stuff like that to shower and stuff, but I'm dressed. I guess they're gonna put me into surgery really soon. You could come in. I guess they're gonna put me into surgery really soon because they have me with everything. I look on pressure sauce, how you doing? And I have everything on, but the nurse is here, so I'm gonna tie back in and let you guys know what I'm doing in the future. So guys, just a little quick update. It is currently 4.05 p.m. over here in Mexico, which means it is 7.05 out there in New York. They just took Richard right now, like literally right now. As soon as they close the door, I'm like, all right, you know what, let me pick up the camera. Let's update the vlog real fast. He's a little nervous. I told him that everything will be fine. But he's also excited. I'm so excited for him. And I know like he's gonna be so happy once he get out. So guys, Look who's finally back in the room with me. I'm not by myself anymore. Babe is finally in here and the best thing is he walked to his bed. He's in a little bit of pain right now, which is understandable. He's feeling a lot of gas. Like what the doctor said earlier, as I told you guys, he's gonna be feeling a lot of gas. So in a few, I'm gonna try to make him walk around. If he doesn't fall to sleep, he has to walk around to release some gas so he can feel a little better. They just gave him a little pain. I'm gonna pain medicine through the IV. So he should be numb a little bit. And it's not, it seems like he's about to fall asleep. So I'm gonna keep you guys updated throughout the night. It's gonna be a long night, I know, but 
baby don't have a stomach. He's looking fly. <laughs> and he's knocked out. But there you go. My baby's back in the room and he's doing good so far. And I, I was expecting to be a little bit more pain, but he's doing fine. He just feels a lot of pressure on his chest. And the doctor said that it's completely normal because it's the gas. He has to release it. And by him releasing it, I mean, by him walking, he's releasing it. So that's that. So baby's is walking. He's been out of surgery. I'd say like less than 30 minutes for his loud. It's been less than 30 minutes and he's already walking to release some gas from his chest. He's doing a really good job. I'm extremely proud and happy that he's doing it. So how do you feel? Oh, so bad. He's on the, he has a lot of pressure in his chest, but like I said, I'm gonna keep you guys updated. I gotta keep an eye on him. So guys, David got back to the room. He's apparently I had to put that up because I didn't want to move over and have fun. But he's right there, he's sleeping. The medicine is finally kicking in. He's feeling, I guess he's feeling a little bit more better. He's walking, he's doing really good. I'm really proud of him. But have a good night, guys. So I'm out. This is day two after the surgery. I'm out walking around and stuff. I feel like it's so much better than I did yesterday. Yesterday I could barely even talk, like, I didn't feel so bad, but I felt like, but I felt like I really didn't want to get on the camera and talk because I was in, I was in and out of, of like, pain medication and everything like that, but now I felt like a little bit better, and it's like getting, like, way easier for me. <sighs> So the doctor told me to just like walk back and forth a little bit so that I could be able to get some of the gas out of my chest and everything like that. So that's what I'm doing now. Um, also, he told me to like do like deep breaths for like every hour, 20 deep breaths or whatever like that. So I've been doing that so I can like make myself burp. And whenever I burp, I feel better too. That's definitely helping a lot, but everything is going perfectly fine right now. Like I feel normal. I feel like I'm ready to take this, just to stop even walking with this or even holding the IV. I make 24 hours, I think, at like eight o'clock, I think I had my surgery last night. No, 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 seven or eight, yeah, seven. I guess I'm just a trooper. I was really nervous at first because I know a lot of people had like different reactions and like, you know, people was, wasn't really taken to it too well, but I felt great. I felt amazing. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> they told me I wasn't gonna be hungry, but they lied. <laughs> I'm starving. <laughs> huh? I don't. I don't know. I, I just feel. I feel great already. Yeah, they still have it in. Yeah. You doing this? All right, guys. So the surgery went really well. My experience here has been like really good so far. I mean, besides the little initial scaring of you know seeing where we was going at first. Everything has been good so far. Even the nurses, they're amazing. The only thing I would say is that there's a slight language barrier. If you don't know English, if you don't know Spanish, then it's gonna be difficult for you to come here to get to get anything done or to get any help. I'm gonna tap back in with you guys later on. Guys, so I'm gonna need you to forgive me. I'm home now. I'm editing the video literally right there. And I'm just sitting here and I'm like, oh, I missed a couple of things like from the video. And I just wanted to really inform you guys because you know, that was the whole point of me recording this video. So I'm just gonna fill in the blanks with like, you know, little edits here and there, just an update. So first and foremost, I wanna say that at this point of the video that we're, that we're reaching right now, we just left the hospital or whatever like that. Like after two days, you leave. On the third day, you go to the hotel. I believe they keep you in Mexico just in case something happens. You can still be in contact with your doctor, but you really like transition into get out. You know what I'm saying? I guess it's just like a safety cushion or whatever like that, leaving you there. On the way to the on the way to the hotel, basically they you stop at a pharmacy. Now this is to prepare you guys because if I would have known this in advance, then I would have probably gotten a lot more stuff. But this particular pharmacy that you're gonna go to, you're gonna be able to buy uh, a good amount of like a lot of products. Like so, if you have any 
medications or anything at home and like you know you don't have insurance and you have a copay and you have or, or if you have anything and it's like really expensive this pharmacy is going to give you these things for like a really low price and i got me some like i got a couple of things actually at the pharmacy like i got me some vi vitamin b12 shots i got me just a couple of different things they gave me extra of the gelatin for me to help digest stuff like they gave me some more painkillers i started getting some multivitamins there because you need some multivitamins like you need a whole bunch of different things remember you have a very fresh stomach and you're not going to be able to eat a lot of different things like you got to remember that you got to get all of your macro and micronutrients in order to be like healthy and you're gonna miss out on a lot of different things because a lot of different things you're not gonna even be able to include in your diet anymore at this point so really like take the time now and pay attention to this and go and rack up on all of that stuff like i wish i would have been able to rack up on more i did spend i did get a couple of different things i only spent like 60 dollars, but i got like three cases of b12 shots i got like two cases of vitamin c ade tablets i have one of these at home you know what i'm saying i mean i don't know if i'm really supposed to be eating that because like you know it's kind of like big but I chew that, I chew it down, like, my plans in the future is to, like, grind it up and put it into, like, um, put it into, like, a shake, like, powder form, like, my protein supplements. The vitamin B complete shots came with syringes and everything like that. They didn't give me no problems in the airport. They didn't even do an extra scan on my bag or anything like that. So I was, like, perfectly fine driving back over the border. Definitely take advantage of getting all of those, all, all of those medications because you're going to need it afterwards to feel good. Like, right now, I feel like I feel so good because I have so many vitamins in me. I'm, like, drinking so much water. Now, the second part is when we do get to this hotel, this hotel is, like, it's a, it's a nice hotel. Do expect to get there. The beds are a lot more comfortable because the beds inside of the, inside of the operating room is like i mean the beds inside of the hospital is hospital beds <laughs> so you know it's just like like it's exactly what you would expect it to feel like now these beds inside of the hotel are really comfortable the hotel room is like really nice it's cute you know what i'm saying like the bathroom is really good um you're gonna have a tv again like you know you're gonna definitely get a good night's sleep like it was definitely a relief for me and x actually being able to go and sleep on that we did do a room tour i'm gonna put the room tour in right here See the right there in the way. <laughs> we have it's like a regular hotel room. You have like your your lock and everything right here, which makes you feel more secure because you know you're not from here nine times out of ten. You're coming in doing surgery here. Um little closet area. Of course it's the safe for the passports or whatever you need to get back over the border. If you wanna leave your money here, if you do come with a companion or somebody who basically has like you know they don't really have restrictions on diet and stuff and they want to shop and they want to walk out and stuff they have a safe for that which is always good and it's an electronic safe meaning that you make your own code always it's we have a bathroom which is really nice the bathroom is really nice the shower oof really it's a waterfall waterfall shower really really nice Nice touch. We got the marble here. A lot of space right here. You know, I'm not gonna even be able to use this yet because I don't think I get to use the bathroom for like, how long is it before I get to use the bathroom? Like a week, right? Yeah. Oh, wow, okay. We have a full length mirror right here, which I'm gonna do a before picture. I mean, well, a one day post op picture, I'm gonna do it right here for you guys. Double beds, even though we didn't need it because we're a couple, but you know, they didn't know that. They just gave it to us because we're a companion, whatever. So we're gonna end up pushing these together. It's real simple, it's cute, cute little artwork. We got our little editing studio over here. X is about to edit Vlogmas day four. Whenever the computer comes on, we really had to come out here and get a charger. <laughs> Last minute. Bye guys. Yeah, nice little thing right here. About to set up my switch, about to play some video games right here. Um hold on, baby, I got you I'm coming in now. This is the view. Now, this is for the companions and everything like that. Across the street from the hotel, they do have a shopping plaza. Be careful though if you're gonna be going with a person that just came out of surgery because the street 
like the, like there's a shopping plaza like it's a big mall across the street but literally the street that you have to cross is like ridiculous with the cars like the cars will not stop like literally i just had surgery two days ago at this point in the video that i'm showing you guys and it was like i'm running across the street like running across the street trying to get like <laughs> to the other side with like open incisions and stuff like like four incisions in my body and stuff like it was crazy like definitely plan really good like about that like or you should just send your companion by themselves they definitely have a lot of good stuff that you might want to check out over there they got like they have like a couple of different stores like they have like an apple store so like if you need an apple charger or anything like that like, they have a reseller apple store it's almost just exactly like the apple store they have everything air tags chargers everything inside of there like i really wasn't missing out on anything um yeah all in all like you know the hotel i mean the hotel location was in a good location but yeah that's it that's all of the stuff i think that that's all of the stuff that i missed out on i will add one more thing into also i almost forgot try to get something to compress your stomach when you're going when you're like about to go back onto the plane or when you're going into the ride and everything like that because when you cough when you burp when you sneeze when you do anything it hurts a little bit but if you have something wrapped around your stomach it takes away from the pain just a little bit you know what i'm saying buy some compression socks and advance or for amazon or that i get a lot of them you know what i'm saying because you're supposed to keep wearing them just plan ahead that that little list that they gave you for the stuff to order off of amazon definitely use that like that list is going to be so helpful to you guys during the surgery process best of luck to everybody going to get this surgery if you want to get any updates or anything like that from me about my process and my surgery like everything like that we are going to have a separate channel specifically that we're going to be uploading vlogs and just like sit downs and talks and stuff like that after vlogmas is over right now it's vlogmas so it's fine this is on my main channel thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed this make sure that you leave a big thumbs up also make sure that you comment down below and you know subscribe if you are an if you aren't already subscribed and if you are already subscribed turn on that post notification but if you already did that then you to go i love you later team it's your next you off this i will be updating every month or two weeks i don't know we're gonna see i was gonna fit into the youtube schedule because it's hectic baby yeah hit my line call me up whenever you need me hit me i'm on my way yeah. My line, call me up Whenever you need me, hit me, I'm on my way Shorty got a body like Malia